COVID-19 has thrown a wrench in the best laid plans and traditions, and this year's Ramadan is no different. The Muslim holy month is having its moment online as people turn to celebrate via online portals and video calls. For more on this, we're joined by Safwan Chaudhary. He is the Director of Communications at the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat. Safwan, good evening and thank you for joining us on CTV News Channel. And Ramzan Mubarak to you. Thank you, Akshay. Really appreciate it. So, how different are the circumstances this time around because of pandemic COVID-19? How will we be observing the month of Ramadan? Look, no doubt, um, this is a very different and uh, unlike Ramadan that we've ever had before. However, in light of COVID-19 pandemic, uh, the Ahmadi Muslim Jamaat Canada has launched a virtual Ramadan campaign uh, so that we can all still feel connected and stay as a community uh, despite the lockdown. Okay, so how is this really working? What's been the response like on this virtual uh, uh, Ramzan that you have launched? What is really happening? Tell us a little more. Absolutely. So virtual Ramadan being a national campaign, we're inviting all Canadians, not just Muslims, to join Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat from Newfoundland to British Columbia. We held our first event earlier today. And last I checked, um, virtual Ramadan is still trending on Twitter right across Canada. It was tremendously successful. We had thousands of people from across the country join us, including the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, uh, Mayor John Tory, various other mayors from across the country, um, and ministers and other prominent Canadians. It was truly a very communal uh, virtual event. It's beautiful how all of uh, everybody is coming together while they are staying apart because of COVID-19. Okay, I have to ask you this. Uh, uh, Ramadan is also about, in the evenings, uh, iftar, when you break the fast every day. And usually we would see how families would come together, friends would come together, a lot of sharing of food while you break that fast. How is that happening this time around? You're absolutely right about everything you just said. That iftar moment does bring a lot of people together, not just at home, but also at mosques, which are typically overflowing with people at this time. So that element of it is certainly going to be different. And we want to be very careful about respecting all the guidelines that have been laid out by both government and medical authorities, but while keeping the essence and the spirit of Ramadan intact. Um, and we feel that we can do that as long as, you know, we're connected with one another, as long as we're, you know, leveraging technology. Ramadan is also a month not just of abstaining from food, but of prayer and of charity. So we're praying for our frontline emergency workers as a, as a community, as a group. Um, you know, Islam as a, as a faith is a very social religion. There's a lot of element of being together, getting together, going to the mosque five times a day. Um, so certainly in a pandemic, uh, everything feels very different. Okay, and briefly, we have very limited time. I would want to ask you, Safan, staying at home, uh, does it make it difficult to observe the fast or does it make it easier? Briefly. It does certainly make it difficult, but there are unique elements that have come out of this pandemic. For example, the world head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat, His Holiness Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad, has been addressing millions of followers around the world virtually uh, in his Friday sermons, um, and it's kept the community together with a lot of programming. Uh, so we have a channel called MTM, Muslim Television MTM, that's been putting up great new programming that's been okay. really helpful in a lockdown. All right, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much for speaking with us, and uh, happy Ramzan once again. Safan Chaudhary, Director of Communications at Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat, thank you for joining us. Thank you.